In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an email sequence using Kajabi. If you're in your Kajabi dashboard, you're gonna to go to email campaigns, and then you're going to click to create your first email campaign. If you haven't done that yet, hit get started. It's gonna bring up email broadcast and email sequence. Now, if you're just joining me, this is actually day seven of a 30 day series that I'm doing called your first 30 days on Kajabi. So as we dive into this, if you're not on Kajabi yet, be sure to go ahead and use my link to get a 30 day free trial, plus all my bonuses. The 30 day free trial, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You also get my free course, the Kajabi Accelerator. You also get my exclusive masterclass called the top three mistakes that new Kajabi users make. And you get my 25K course launch email template. All that is yours right now, today, to say thank you for using my link lanesebring.com slash kajabi. So you click on email sequence and it's going to ask us to put in a title. So let me just put in, all right, let's see. Um, my awesome course launch. Cause let's just say that you're using an email sequence to launch a course. So we hit continue. And now what it's going to do is it's going to ask us what kind of template we want for our email sequence. And you can choose like a lot of these different uh, templates. Some of these look like kind of more, you know, landing pages or newsletters or like this one, you can make an announcement. So the email that they get will actually have a day and time of event countdown. So let's just say that your course is gonna launch on a certain day, you can do a set of emails up into that day, or let's say that your course launch ends on a certain day and you wanna create a little bit of urgency, every email can have a countdown timer in it. But right up here in the upper right corner is the classic editor. And more times than not, this is what I find myself using because when I get an email from a company, I typically, if it looks and feels too much like a marketing piece, it feels like impersonal to me. So that's why I typically just use a classic editor because when I write emails and people get emails from me, I want it to feel like they're just getting an email from a friend. And so that's my style. I'm not saying it has to be your style, I'm just saying that that's my style. So the first thing that's gonna come up is it's gonna say, when is this email gonna be delivered? So currently, this email will be sent at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, one day after someone subscribes to the sequence. Now, in our next video tomorrow, day eight, we're actually gonna talk about automations because automations inside Kajabi are what actually are gonna subscribe someone to the sequence. So right now we're just building out the sequence and tomorrow we'll look into what subscribes them. And just as a kind of preview, what subscribes somebody to an email sequence, in this case, is going to be when they get our lead magnet. So if you're new to this series, if you go all the, way, all the way back to day one, we looked at the entire Kajabi dashboard, and then starting in day two, three, four, five, six, we looked at setting up our landing page, getting a lead magnet built and ready, and now we're writing the sequence that people are going to get when they initially subscribe to get that lead magnet. So if any of this is like confusing where you're like, okay, I don't understand. There's a couple things you can do. One, watch through all these videos up to this point and, and keep watching because these are all building blocks that we're putting together. And attend my workshop, lanesebring.com slash workshop. This is the turn what you know into dough workshop that will help you to kind of put all the pieces of your online business together so that you see the full picture. And it's actually going to show you how to make your first $1,000 a month in passive income in your spare time. The four steps that it takes to get there. It's my Turn What You Know in a Dough workshop, lanesebring.com slash workshop. So right now, this is one day after. What I like to do is for most of my email sequences, I actually have it to be sent immediately. So if you switch it from day one to day zero, this email will be sent immediately after someone subscribes to this email sequence. So what this means is that when somebody opts in to get your lead magnet, instantly they'll get this very first email. And so this title could be something like, this is gonna be what we call it as, as our internal title. 
I typically make my subject line and the internal title the same thing. So I might say something like, here is your free guide. So let's say that this is an email sequence that they're gonna get right after they get your lead magnet. So in the subject line, I want them to see that. So I put in, here's your free guide. Now you'll notice that down here, it says avoid using the following spam trigger free. So this is Kajabi's way of telling me that if I put the word free in my subject line, email places like Gmail are going to flag this as spam and stick it in the spam folder. So I'm going to go back and avoid saying something like free. So instead I might say something like, here is the guide I promised you. Okay, so that's, that's a simple change that I made to make this more email compliance. One of the things that I love about Kajabi is they're right on top. They have automatic systems that just let you know how things go. Now in the body of the email, I'm gonna say something like, you know, hey, so glad, hey, so glad you downloaded the free, free guide, uh, free guide. Um, and actually, I'm gonna show you exactly what I write in the initial email. And so what you're looking at here is the actual email that you get when you get my super simple guide. This is one of the lead magnets here on lanesebring.com. So the internal title is, here's your super simple guide. It goes out day zero, so it's immediately sent to you upon subscribing. Subject line, here's your super simple guide. So in this email, I said, hey, and then first name. This is actually a personalization. You can click you know, right here, personalize it by putting in first name, email, whatever. So, hey, first name. So if your name's you know, Henry, it'll say, hey, Henry. Uh, it's so great to have you on board. I'm here to help you replace your nine to five income. And so I'm right here, what I'm doing is I'm saying, think of me as your personal online business coach. Each week I deliver a highly actionable tactic to help you build your business. If that sounds good to you, here's the next step. Reply yes to this email. The reason why this is important is because if someone replies to your email and you reply back, it is so much more likely that your emails are not going to end up being sent to promotions tab or to spam because it's signaled to Gmail, which is what most people are using, that you're a trusted source, they like you, all that. And so rather than just saying, hey, reply so that you know, my emails don't end up in your promotions tab, I give an incentive and it's also a way to add more value. So I'm like, hey, reply yes to this email and as a thank you, I'll send a bonus workshop called Your Niche is Right Under Your Nose, How to Uncover Your Profitable Business Idea for Free. So if this email lands in your spam or promotions folder, please move it to your primary inbox. So I do make that ask, but I'm saying, hey, just reply yes. And so a lot of times people will reply yes, they'll tell me a little bit about their niche, but it's an easy way to get someone to just say, yeah, here's some interaction, yes. Doing both these steps will ensure you don't miss out on any of the online business goodness I have for you. Finally, here is the guide I promise you. So this right here is just a link. So uh, this is literally just a PDF that I stuck in there. Um, and so when they click on that link, it, it downloads the PDF of the super simple guide. And then down here in the PS, <clears throat> I also just say, tomorrow I'm gonna share a massively helpful tip that I discovered that took my business to six figures, look, look for your inbox. And then PPS, which means post post script, don't forget to reply to this email and I'll send over a free bonus workshop. Your niche is right under your nose. So that is the way that I do that first email. Now in a sequence, you can go back and add as many emails as you want with as many different days as you want. You can skip days, so you could have an email come out day zero, day one, day two, day three, but then the next email doesn't come until day six. Um, you can have it set up where when they you know read a certain email, it, it subscribes them to uh, you know another sequence. Like you can go crazy with the automations. When they buy the product that you're selling in a particular sequence, you can go ahead and unsubscribe them from that sequence and subscribe them to the welcome sequence for the product that they built, that they bought. There's a lot of things you can do. It's not complicated. It's just one piece at a time we're building. So tomorrow in day eight, we will jump into automations and I'll show you kind of like, how does someone get subscribed to an email sequence? And then how do they get unsubscribed when they need to be unsubscribed? All that's coming up tomorrow. 
For now, go to lanesebring.com slash kajabi to start your free trial and go over to lanesebring.com slash workshop and jump into the Turn What You Know Into Dough workshop to get your business to that first $1,000 a month and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.